Hello everybody and welcome back to this Unity Shadow Graph tutorial. Um, this tutorial where, uh, we'll be uh, talking about how to uh, improve the uh, vertex uh, shader part we did uh, in the last uh, tutorial, which is the movement over the eyes of this card back. Um, so um, last tutorial we, do, we did this uh, animation using the uh, Y value of the vertices within the object um, so to make uh, to make the difference between the eyes and the back object but if you uh, have a closer look over um, the scene view as you see over here first of all the eyes are moving together and we have some movement around the object as well because when we did the lerp um, uh, we had to like uh, make a value between the y uh, value of these vertices as you see over here and the other vertices okay so uh, we need to fix this so how to do that uh, let's go back to our camera view first and to fix that and to make it like it is in the game actually let's, let's see the, the everything as you see over here we don't have any movement in the back object and the eyes are moving um, I mean uh, differently it seems like each one is separate uh, have sep having separate uh, uh, animation as well uh, in the down so um, to do uh, such uh, such animation, uh, we uh, we need to uh, uh, like make some kind of um, mask or filter using the vertex color of the object. And to do so, when um, last time when I exported the uh, model from the game, um, I exported it as OBG file, which is the, the only option I have. And in the um, uh, OBG extension, let's bring it over here so we can see it. Files extension um, doesn't uh, include the uh, vertex color uh, data, so uh, actually uh, we lost them. So what uh, I did, I just uh, imported the uh, object in 3ds Max. So uh, this is the model the guide back and um, I work it on the uh, vertex uh, color of the parts which is uh, I want to select for example if we go to vertex selection over here and we want for example to make a difference between the the big eye and the small eye of the uh, Cifa we um, we can here like change select the vertices and change the color and I already did that. I put the, the, the big eye as a red and the small eye as a green. We can like see it over here. We can like change the color to red, for example. We go to red. This is the red. And we do select the vertices, which is I have a red color. And it will be um, selecting the, the big eye vertices. Uh, as well, if we go back to green. So let's put this zero. And this 255. Okay, so we're back to green, and we select. It will select the um, the small eye. So in that way, you need to change the uh, the um, color of the vertices uh, of the uh, part of the model you want to uh, make the animation on, and then export the file as FBX file format. So we go here, export it as an FBX file, leave everything by default, and you go back and import it in Unity, which is I did the import already over here. Uh, this is the material actually. This is the uh, the new object. And when you import just when you import a file from TDS Max, just uh, remove this use file scale because it will become very small. And um, let's see how it, uh, how we can um, change uh, 
the animation and how the color will affect the animation. So uh, let me hide this object. Just disable this. And this is the object already. Uh, and let me see. And this uh, selected. So as you see over here, the animation is fixed, and you can see here we have we don't have any more the animation uh, on the back uh, side of the object. And um, as you see here, we have two separate animation on each eye, as we uh, did the uh, the, the um, let's say the, uh, the filter uh, over the vertex color. And now I will show you how we did that in the shader itself. So uh, let me bring the shader. Okay, here is uh, our shader. We work on the uh, time, but um, this is not the same. I met, I did the, the modification, so it will work as per we uh, with an in the vertex color. So I'll try to explain it. Let me make this uh, smaller. So the modification we did, um, it's only on the vertex shader part, which is this top part, okay? The, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, um, the fragment shader, um, we didn't touch this. So um, let me explain this uh, new section so we can like understand how it is done. Um, and the animation part, we did the same. Uh, so uh, we had we have uh, the time node and the uh, position of the vertices as the uh, X Y Z, and we did two animations, one for the the big the, I mean uh, the big I, and one for the small I. Same like the um, uh, we did uh, in the last uh, tutorial. We just. Uh, Multiply the uh, cosine and uh, sine of the values over the uh, the x and y, and um, we did add add the the, the, the result to the uh, x and y uh, vertices values, and then we did the lerp. This lerp um, here, where we change uh, the the t value, it's no more the uh, the y. Uh, of the vertices, it is now the vertex color of the vertices. So we bring the, uh, the vertex color of the vertices, and here we have the red and green, and we did like um, uh, invert the color because it's it big and uh, uh, when it comes from 3ds Max, it, it comes uh, inverted, and after we invert the color, we assign to the uh, the the key uh, input of the uh, lerp on each uh, of the animations. Then uh, on the um, x and y result, we just did um, another lerp between the both animations with uh, t as a constant value by, by 0 0.5. So we can see the both animation anim animations goes together, um, and that's all. Uh, we did so uh, in here uh, we only add this part to make it like working with the vertex color okay and it gives uh, a better result so if we um, want to do another um, thing as we see over here let's bring this down uh, this uh, part of the of the uh, object is not moving anymore because we didn't assign any color to it and uh, so we can like if we want to, to move with the red uh, color we can like um, color these vertices to red and see what will happen so let's do that so we'll go back to the uh, 3ds max and we'll select this part of the object we go to element element selection and we select just one click because uh, the, uh, the model is already set up uh, that way and we go to the, let's say, to the face, and we'll change the vertex color to red. Okay, we did that. And to verify, we can like go to the vertex 
and we select the red color then we say select the vertices and this all vertices now are uh, red with the red color but, um, let's do one thing here let's um, remove these uh, vertices from the uh, vertex color so we can um, keep the base uh, fix and uh, we move more of those so uh, let's remove those from the selection let's build this okay then um, actually we need to select those only with this one okay and this one we have to check if we didn't select any other but this is down which is I think we don't know before. yeah and we'll make the vertex color to Let's give it any color, it's black, it's fine. Okay. Okay. Black, okay. So when we select the oh, it's still black we need to change it. Okay. Let's change it and put it back to black maybe because it is not accepted. Let's put this to black as well. Elimination. Okay, and let's see. Actually, if we select this, yeah, now the color is changed. So we have only these um, selected as red, and let's put the elimination to white. Okay. So um, now uh, we added this to the red uh, selection. Let's export the object. Do the same FBX object. Okay, we leave everything by default. We go back to the uh, Unity, and we see here the object is moving as um, per the animation we did for the red color, the red vertex color. Okay, so that's all for this uh, tutorial. Uh, thank you for uh, the follow-up and uh, see you on the next one.